when it came to realizing a future goal for a high school student, it just seemed to add up that Jesse Vanegas of Arroyo Valley High School was going to be a teacher someday. As a student in San Bernardino City Unified School District who flourished in math, Vanegas was a success story in his school's teaching academy to develop students for careers in education. Vanegas is this year's recipient in the category of Excellence in Education, Student Alumni. Venegas used his hands-on experience in high school to go to San Bernardino Valley College, succeeding in the Valley Bound Commitment and Extended Opportunities programs and services. After finishing his associate's degree, he earned a scholarship to attend Cal State San Bernardino to complete his bachelor's degree and teaching credential. Now he's back where he learned he wanted a career in education, teaching math for the second year at Arroyo Valley. When I first started, uh, I didn't really know I was going to go to college when I came here to, uh, when I started off. Um, ninth grade year wasn't all that great. Tenth grade was a little bit better, but it, it really took uh, a teacher, Ms. Pelletera, um, talking to me one time and saying, you, you're better than these grades. And it just, it kind of snowballed from there. He was so excited and about math right. and about right. math, right. which is, you know. And I remember when he was an intern here, he interned for Miss Sinkfield. Mm -hmm. And he, I remember, you know, watching him and he's a 12th grade student and he's teaching. He's up and he's teaching and he's looking at kids and he's thinking and he's checking for understanding. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was a teacher before he was a teacher. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and right. that just, you know, just like Laura said, that was his goal. And I kind of changed my mind frame and said, you know what, I can, I can try to be successful. Let's see what happens. And I gave him my all and it, and it, ret it returned to me. Um, the good grades and uh, being able to get into different programs, it all just kind of came from that, from that conversation. I would say uh, regarding Jesse is that since he was a student, he is always kind, uh, always mindful of others, uh, has just a strong work ethic and just a compassion for, for others. And uh, you know, even when he was in the classroom uh, as a student, you know, we always felt like he would go on and be a teacher because he just had a passion for working with, with others. Teaching mathematics, I always had a feel for math and it came easy to me and I, and I loved helping my friends with it um, because they were struggling and, and so they would ask me how do you do this, how do you do that and I just, it came easy to me and I felt like I was good at, uh, at helping them out and just experiences along the way that helped me fortify the fact that I wanted to be a teacher. He's just so driven and we saw that in high school and he would come back when he went to junior college and he would tell us all of his amazing endeavors at junior college and then he was transferring to uh, Cal State San Bernardino and had amazing stories and just he was so driven. He had a goal, he had a plan, he knew exactly what he was going to do and get back and teach. I think that you know teachers like Jesse realize that they're teachers of people and you know and math just happens to be the content that he teaches but you know he's a teacher of people first. I think education it, we give tools to students so that they can be successful once they graduate it's not just oh this is math this is English but teaching them how how can you bring this to your life what why would you need this and how can you use it to help you out um, the logical thinking, that's something that everybody needs. Um, and it doesn't have to be a math problem, it could be a real life problem. What's, what avenue should I take? Um, different ways of thinking, not just one way to solve a problem. There's many different ways. I think education, we give that to the students. We teach them not only material, but how to be successful. Everybody has their own trajectory after high school graduation. And to see, you know, four and five years later, to have, you know, one of your students come back to the school that, that you're, you work at and just jump in right away because they, they have a passion for it. It's, uh, I don't have words. I really don't have words. And so I remember when, um, when I first found out that he was hired and that he was, you know, he was an employee here, you know, just, just, uh, just joy, just absolute joy that, that he was part of our Hawk family. Yeah. I was born and raised in San Bernardino. Um, and sometimes I know students, they, they can't relate to teachers. I, I try to tell them, I'm saying, I was in the, your same spot. I grew up here, I know how the neighborhood is, I know um, 
or what struggles there might be. I've experienced them. And I try to, uh, to push them. I try to tell them you can do better than what you think because somebody told me that one time. And I, I believe that they can all be successful. They need to work. They need to work at it, but I think that they all can be successful.